I got to ask you this. Do you have your own Netflix account or are you quote unquote borrowing one from friends or family? Let me know in the comments because family, let me tell you right now, Netflix, they are going through a struggle at this very moment, which in the stock market, you got to remember, this presents you an opportunity to make money with them. When the stock comes down really low, if they bounce back, we ride the wave back. But if their stock continues to go low, you got to remember, we know how to make money on the way down. The Wall Street people, the Wall Street elite, they don't want you to understand how to make money when the market is coming down. But most hedge funds, they make their money as the stock market is coming down because allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, they are stealing it from you and they are stealing it from others. Now, this episode is brought to you by the public investing app. If you want to stop using payment for order flow, which helps the hedge funds to basically steal from, in my opinion, retail investors and everybody else who's not benefited from that, then use public. They do not use payment for order flow and you'll get up to $70 in free stocks and you'll use an app on your phone that makes it easy to invest. I see you over there. Now, let's talk about it, family. Take a look at this. Netflix, their earnings, which is happening tomorrow after the market close, Make sure you paying attention because I got you on this. But Netflix, their earnings, it said it could feature millions of subscribers being lost and they're pivoting to ads. You know how there's no Netflix ads? Now they pivot into ads. If you had Hulu or some other type of service like that, you might say every now and again, you get a little commercial, right? And depending on which tier you have, you may get no commercials or you may get longer commercials or you may get little short commercials. But now Netflix is saying, hey, we losing subscribers, it's time to pivot over here to that. But remember, when you see these kind of things, this turmoil in a company, this uncertainty in a company, you have to think, how can I make money here? So many people are just, the fear is making them lose out on money, and then Wall Street is gonna capitalize on that. And if Netflix stock tanks, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell, I'm giving you the facts so you can be the judge. But if Netflix stock tanks, I promise you this, some new hedge fund or some previously well-established hedge fund is going to make a lot of money off of it. But you got to know how to do it too, family. Let's get down to it. So here go some of the facts. They say that Netflix is down in more way than one. In quarter one, they show that they lost 200,000 subscribers. Keep in mind, they got tens of millions of subscribers. However, they have never really shown a loss of subscribers in the last decade. They've been on fire killing the game, right? Now, they're saying that for their quarter two earnings, they're expected to lose 2 million subscribers. And we're going to find out about that tomorrow. And they also cut 450 jobs. These things are not a good look. Now, I'm not saying to jump into a put option. I'm not saying to jump into a call option. At a minimum, I need you to put this on your watch list because the volume, how many people are trading this is gonna be through the roof. The trading volume, again, people are gonna keep their eye on this. It's gonna be one of the hottest stocks coming up at least tomorrow, at least this week. Okay, now, and like I was saying before, in that first quarter, and you really gotta pay attention to these stocks that you are invested in or trading in so it's not random, family. The stock market, things that happen, they're not random. There's somebody behind here pressing a button and the next thing you know, a stock comes down, stock goes up. There are algorithms that are making the stocks go down, stocks go up. There are news catalysts that are making the stocks go down, stocks go up. You gotta make sure that you understand what's going on in a company thoroughly before you decide to get in. This is why I get on here and I show you the receipts because I want you to be well informed. I don't wanna just give you a fish. I wanna teach you how to fish. I wanna teach you what to look for in these companies, family so you know what's going on and you can understand is this company a company that i just trade aka i get in i get up and i get out or is this a company that's coming down that i could load up on long term these are how i want you to think before you even get into a play now let's keep it going when they lost their 200,000 subscribers they actually expected to make and add 2.5 million subscribers so people was crazy surprised by that this is why the stock dropped and check this out from 700 dollars all the way down to the 52 week low of 162, 162. Now I got to introduce something that we talked about in the past. Again, PE ratio. When you see the earnings and you see this stock this coming week, I want you to keep your eye on the PE ratio. This is going to be so important. Now this tells you this, the PE ratio right now before earnings as of last quarter is 17.16. Now we want it to stay under 25. We want to stay under 25. Now, if we see the PE ratio under 25, and I'm talking about after the earnings come out, then this is going to show you, okay, Netflix is still pulling in money to the point that 
they may continue to pull in money in the future. But if the P-E ratio shows that their earnings is so down, the next thing you know, how the formula works, the P ratio could be really higher than 25 or significantly like 40 or 50. We don't want to see that, right? But if we do, then we know that they're in such a hard time that it may even get worse in the future. But if they're still pulling their money and a P ratio was under 25, that'd be a solid sign that the company is not going to fail because they're still pulling their money. Now, and the reason we go with 25 is when you look at the Fortune 500 companies, I'm talking about Google, Apple, I'm talking about Microsoft, all these other companies in the Fortune 500, we look at their P-E ratio, it's usually between 15 and about 25, sometimes even 30 or so, when you all add them in all together. You might look at Google, it might be a little higher, you might look at Apple, it might be a little higher at this point, but just understand, the Fortune 500, when you put them all in a basket, it gets about 25 or so, maybe even down to 15 on some of them. So we wanna see Netflix keep that in the P-E ratio, just so you understand. When you see the P-E ratio, how is seventeen dollars? Imagine when you invest into a company, you're giving them basically, you're giving putting money in it, right? Think of, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it raw. You give them seventeen dollars sixteen cents, let's say for our example, and then they go and make a dollar with it. Now, if their PE ratio is let's call it thirty, that means you got to give them thirty dollars, and then they're gonna go and make a dollar with it, right? Wouldn't you want that PE ratio to be lower and lower? Meaning you put in a lower amount and then boom, they could still go and make a dollar with it. This is how you got to think about the PE ratio just in simple terms. There are more complex pieces to it, but you say, okay, if there are two companies, one of them has a PE ratio of 50 and the other one has a PE ratio of 25, right? And they're both still growing companies. You say, okay, the one that has 25 is cheaper. If I give them 25, they're going to go make a dollar with it. But the other one, if I give them 50, they're going to go make that same dollar with it. So you rather put your money to work and put, you know what I'm saying? Have that dollar working as hard as it can. So let's keep it going. I got to show you this. You've been in times in your life where you may have felt desperate. You may have felt like, man, nothing I do is working out, right? This is how Netflix is feeling as we speak. Check this out. They said, and it, you know, they got a joke, the mainstream media, they said stranger things are happening, right? And then they said in 2019, the CEO, he said that they would never do ads on Netflix, period. Why? Because Netflix was killing it. And then the pandemic happened and then they was killing it even more because everybody was home. But now the pandemic is going away. Allegedly, supposedly, you be the judge on that family. We're going to get into none of that. You know how politicized that has been. But now at least the lockdowns are not as stringent as they once were. So in April, they said that they were going to launch the tears on the ads again. But again, the fear, uncertainty and doubt. People are starting to say we can't trust the CEO. We don't know what he's going to do because he's telling us one thing and then doing another thing. They told us they were never getting ads on Netflix and boom, now they're getting ads on Netflix. How do you feel about that, family? Do you want to keep your Netflix account? Because you know the prices is going up. I'm not saying you should get rid of it, but I just want to know how you feel and let everybody in the comments know too. And then they're going to have ads as well. So let me know. And then it said that they want to partner with Microsoft. They said this last week to build out their ads platform. You know how when you go to a website and then they got little ads popping up. Oftentimes, this is Google ads, Google AdSense popping up, right? So then Microsoft is trying to develop something kind of similar to Google in that way with ads. And they're going to partner with Netflix to do it. Now, check this out. They said that they got a hard pivot. Netflix has hiked its prices and they're trying to make up for the sagging growth. And they are actually, like I said before, so desperate in this state right now that they're doing anything. They're doing anything to, to keep the subscribers. It's kind of like being in a relationship, right? Imagine this. It says that they ballooned their content spend amount by $13 billion. To put that into perspective, this new Stranger Things season four that came out recently cost about $30 million an episode to produce. Family, $30 million per episode. They got well over the 200 million mark for that series. Keep in mind, the movie Avatar with the Blue Aliens family that was like killing the game was like the number one movie for a while. Ever, $237 million USD. <laughs> this is what they, this is what they cost to make that. And this movie became the top movie of all time at a point. And then Spider-Man No Way Home, which was killing it, cost $200 million to make family. So they spend these kind of same dollars on Stranger Things, which has not turned and yielded the same results as those other type of media. Now, with that in mind, you gotta think of Netflix like this. They doing everything in their power to keep what I'm describing as their exes, their ex subscribers. They say, hey, look, 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 we just wanna get you back, baby. Hold up, hold my notepad at? I ain't gonna pop, pop, pop today. They calling them up and they say, yo, subscribers, come on now. 
Don't leave me. I'm doing everything for you right now. You don't love me? You don't love me like you used to? <laughs> That's how they get down. But again, it's unfortunate for them, but we gonna use this opportunity to make some money, whether they go up or down. I want you to see the price targets because a new low price target came in just recently. On average, Wall Street is saying that this is going to 257, 254.97 by the end of next year. However, new price targets have come in saying that it's going to 157 which is under the 52 week low of 162. So we gotta keep all of this stuff in mind when we're trying to play Netflix. Now, what is Netflix doing to try again to keep those exes, those exes got, yo, come on, man, come back to me, baby. You know what I'm saying? What are they doing? They doing this. They said that they put up $200 million, like I said, like Spider-Man No Way Home money or numbers, like the Avatar numbers, and they said that they got Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans, and they're going to portray employees in a CIA kind of movie, and they even spent $40 million. It says this, one action scene took a month to produce in that in that piece of content and cost roughly $40 million to make, family. So they are trying to throw everything they have at keeping their exes. Please call me back. Please don't leave. Don't leave. This is Netflix family. But again, I want you to get up on a discord so you can learn how to make money on the way down. You don't just got to make money in a in a bull market when the market is running, running up. You can make money on the way down. The discord. Come and join the wolf pack over there, baby. I see you there and I'll let you get in on the classes. I got classes. I got quizzes and I got reviews and I did it for you. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Join the public app so you could be on the non-payment for order flow type apps family. I see you in the next one. Take care.